Hey everyone, this is Miss Hammond, and today we're going to go over some study and exam tips um, for the biology EOC that everyone is about to take. Don't be nervous, I know everyone is going to do great, and it's going to be a really awesome experience. So remember a, a while ago we went over mnemonic devices, and just as a review, mnemonic devices are a phrase that one can create to help remember a set of information. If you recall, the example that we came up with in class had to do with the classification of organisms. And it was domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. And so when you're doing this, you take the first letter of each word. And so you take the D from domain, K from kingdom, P from phylum, C from class, O from order, F from family, G from genus, and S from species. And then you take those letters and create a silly phrase from them that's sometimes a lot easier to remember. And so what we came up with was dumb, king, Philip, came, over, bore, grape, soda. And so this really if this phrase really helps you remember it, that's awesome. But if you have to create your own phrase, that's totally fine. Also, it's whatever works for you. And you don't just have to use this for this classification system. You can use a mnemonic for device for any other set of information that we've gone over. And so the next thing is the flashcards that we've made throughout the semester. We did this for studying for the EOC specifically. I know sometimes it's overwhelming when you have to flip back through your notes all the way from the beginning of the semester, but we made these flashcards as like shorthand notes. And so um, they're a lot easier to go over and they're also easier to quiz yourself with. And so this is an example of the flashcards that we created to remember the photosynthesis equation. So on one side it says photosynthesis equation and on the other side is the actual equation. And then another way to use these flashcards is to quiz each other. We are going to have a couple days in class for review before the EOC and during that time there might be some you know, free time where we're not specifically doing something and during that time quiz each other. Use your notes, use your old tests, use your flashcards, anything, and just really work with someone to go through the information and make sure you both know it so well. And then when it comes to the actual night before the test, don't stay up and cram, don't stay up and be anxious, just get a lot of sleep. That's so vitally important that you guys get a lot of sleep. Be well rested, you know, don't let your anxieties get the best of you, everyone's going to do great. And so please get as much sleep as possible. And then when you're sitting there actually taking the test, remember we've been practicing taking the test the entire semester. And so exactly like I've said, cross out the answers that you know right off the bat are not correct. And so this right here is a sample question from a past EOC and we're going to go through it with this method. So it, it reads, sexual reproduction provides for what to occur? A. Cloning, B. Budding, C. Genetic stability, or D. Genetic variation. So right off the bat, we can definitely cross off two of them. We can cross off cloning because we know cloning, that's asexual reproduction, and this question deals with sexual reproduction. So we definitely know that's not the answer. And the other one is B. Budding. We can get rid of that too because again, it deals with asexual reproduction. So this greatly increases our chances of getting this um, question correct. So the last two, genetic stability and genetic variation. They're very similar, but at the same time, they're incredibly different. And throughout the whole semester, when we've talked about sexual reproduction, we've talked about um, genetic variations and things like that. And so we know genetic variation is definitely the answer. So now we're well on our way to making 100 and rocking the EOC. So while you're preparing for the EOC and while you're sitting there taking the EOC, please remember that you got this. You know the information. We've been working all semester and I'm so proud of you guys. So if you start to get anxious or nervous, you know, your anxiety start to get the best of you and you start to like think you're forgetting information or something like that, just stop. Put your pencil down 
and just take a deep breath. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, calm yourselves down, and just think, I got this. I can totally pass this. I know everything on this test. And then continue on. I promise you, everything's going to be fine and everyone is going to be awesome.